1970 Honda Trail 70. Well, I promised you guys a video of, of this little Honda running. And I parked it in my office a few years ago. I drained the gas, so it's been sitting in there for a few years. So truthfully, I hadn't even started it. I took the battery out as well. I don't even know where the battery is now. They're just little tiny ones. But anyway, I did put some gas in it. The float was sticking. So I took the carburetor apart. I cleaned it. I also went ahead and replaced the fuel lines because they were kind of hard and they were hard to get on the little deals and I put new clamps on it. Now she runs like a top, just like she she did when I put her away. See if I can hold the camera and start. Here's your key right here. Turn it to the on position. I'm gonna try to hold it with one hand and start with the foot. There we go. Little Honda motors are hard to kill. But it's a sweet ride. Yeah, even though I drained the gas, this new fuel they have nowadays, if any it gets left in there for any amount of time, it, it just goes bad. I did put some staple in it just this evening. I'm sorry, yesterday evening. But you can see she's a... Uh... That sound brings back memories. See, there's no smoke or no issues. Just a fun little ride. I guess I could could try to ride it around the yard. Let me do that. I need someone to help me with my cinematography. Yeah, maybe you can hear it when I shift gears. There's first, second, third. It's got the automatic clutch. So you, all you have to do is shift it and it disengages the clutch. It's probably a boring video because all you can see is the handlebars. I'm gonna get back off of it, walk around it. Nineteen seventy Honda CT seventy painted in a green metallic. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's got some fire in it. It's the same color of the one I had when I was a kid. And rather than paint some of the stuff like the engine covers, which was painted from the factory, I powder coated it. Powder coated the cylinder. Uh, I bead blasted the head. The oil's clean, but it hadn't been changed in a few years. But maybe if you get it and you want to ride it around, it might not be a bad idea to put some new oil in it. I did keep it in my office, which is air conditioned, it's climate controlled. So it really, it was in a pretty perfect environment to keep it nice. But I hope whoever gets it enjoys it. It's a, it's a fun little bike. It just kind of brings back memories. But there you have it. You got any questions, post them up. I'm going to be in Colorado this next week, but I'll have some cell service. If I don't get right back with you, I'll respond as quick as I can. But I tried to be complete in all the details, but I'm sure those some of you will have some questions. But there you have it. She's running right now off the Magneto. I think the battery, you only need a battery if you're going to run the lights, but don't quote me on that. Still got the baffle in it. The seat's in excellent shape. 
Of course, it was reupholstered when the bike was redone. The VIN number on the frame matches the tag on the neck. I'm selling it with the bill of sale. Some states, they don't title these. In Texas, you can get a bonded title. And I just didn't want to go through that process because I'm not, I wasn't planning on riding it on the street. I just kind of had it for a, a toy. The sun just came out. Maybe you can see the metallic in the paint. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. It's got a nice fire mist metallic. Well, I won't bore you anymore, but she does run. She idles perfect. Brakes work good. Just a fun little bike. Have a great day.